Welcome to 2 Minutes Bio. In this video, the development of centrifugation will be discussed. In 1957, American biologist Matthew Meselson and Franklin Stahl conducted an experiment that proved a semi-conservative replication pattern of DNA double helix, which was originally proposed by Watson and Crick by applying two new techniques, the nitrogen isotope 15 and cesium chloride centrifugation method. In this video, cesium chloride gradient centrifugation will be explained. First, centrifugation is a technique to separate particles in the solution according to their size, shape, density, and viscosity by applying centrifugal force. This technique made it possible to separate seemingly indistinguishable object by concentration and mass. And cesium chloride gradient centrifugation is the advanced form of this technique. In Messelson and Stahl's experiment, DNA containing two elements of slightly different mass, nitrogen-15 and 14 had to be separated. By using cesium chloride, unlike conventional centrifugation, the solution is not completely separated into heavy and light, but separates while forming a concentration gradient according to the concentration of the solution. In other words, this makes it possible to know not only the relative mass, but also the concentration. The origin of centrifugation date back to the 19th century. The first was made in 1864 by German master brewer Antoine Prandt to separate the cream from milk. Swiss physician and biologist Friedrich Miescher later succeeded in isolating DNA, which was called nuclein at that time. Later, Swedish engineer Gustave de Laval invented a centrifugal separation machinery that turned a turbine by steam in 1879, which won much prize as it revolutionized the dairy industry. The next major invention happened in 1925 from Swedish chemist Theodor Swedberg. He invented a microcentrifuge that allows to separate even macromolecules, which requires very high speed of up to 1 million centrifugal force. He has been awarded the Nobel Prize by this work. Faster technique than microcentrifuge called ultracentrifuge was invented by Jesse Beams and further developed by his students Edward Pickles and Johannes Bauer after World War II by founding a company called Spinco that specializes in the design and manufacturing of ultracentrifuge. In 1950, the American biochemist Myron Brack used density gradient centrifugation as a separation technique to purify potato yellow dwarf virus. Since that time, this technique has developed into widely used tools for the purification of macromolecules, viruses, and organelles. Then Messelson Stahl applied developed version of density gradient centrifugation called cesium chloride gradient centrifugation to their experiment. The subsequent development is listed briefly as follows. 